Hello and welcome to Iowa. We are here in the Gen 4 car here tonight for a night race in Iowa. Um, actually, in real life, it's afternoon here on Monday. Um, the week's about to switch over, but I thought I'd do one of these races before it does here at Iowa. So it's a pretty fun track. Time for qualifying here, and uh, I was able to get a 22-9 in the practice beforehand. I was really trying for it. I was in the 23s, just above it, and I was like really trying to get it, and I finally just barely got it. Uh, I don't know if the track conditions are going to allow that here, but I think I found a good way around the track for qualifying. It's very slick on the cold tires, and uh, as a result, I think I'm going to kind of just take a moderate pace here for lap one. Ooh, the track is tighter, baby. I'm going to let the tires get up to temp a little bit more before I really go for it on lap two here. One more lap. All right, so I found that uh, I kind of like just above the second scene here. As long as you can avoid those bumps for the most part, it feels pretty good. And then I like the bottom. Diving it real hard. You're in three and four. All right, 22. That was even better than practice. I think the track got a little bit faster, maybe. And uh, because of the curved front stretch, gets you a little bit more if you start pulling to the left down the straight. I think I'm pretty happy with that lap. Uh, I know there was other guys kind of in that low, low 23 area. So we'll see if it holds on. Hopefully I don't end P2 again. I have to start on the outside front row. That is the worst, man. We'll see what happens. I do think the second lap is kind of necessary, though. And that's why I kind of went a little easier on the first lap. I didn't go crazy easy, but, you know, just didn't kill the tires. Instead, just got them up to temp so that way I could go for it for real on the lap two. I found that seemed to work the best. And you got to be really careful about where you take this line one and two, because if you go a little too high, you start getting those bumps real bad, and it just destroys you. Oh, the four almost got me. Seven thousandths behind. He's in the 22 range as well. See if anybody else makes a run at it. We are going to make a run at a green flag pit stop. Pretty tough here at Iowa. It's a very sharp turn. So the way I usually do this is I why my pretend I'm taking the bottom so lane and then just keep the brakes applied. Look after the pits, please. Like the way you're driving. Uh, and uh, I got it slowed down. It just doesn't like it whenever you do that anymore. <laughs> Get our camera all fixed. Oh wow, we're ready to go. Awesome. I should have stuck to my gut and run the top. That's not bad. That's the first one I've got. Right. So, we get the pole. That's cool. Now we just gotta not light up the rear tires and wreck the field. That would be less cool. Alright, 120 laps. We got some tough competition in here. 2.5k strength of field, but um, we got other 5,000 I rating guys uh, ready to make it tough on us. And I'm still a little out of practice. First time driving this car in over a month. My so. die too bad. I'll let you guys know, and I'll dive out of the way. Hopefully, it's a fun, SOS clean is. race. It's weird. It's just it's bouncing from 60 to 120, 60 to 120, back and forth. So what's our fuel situation looking like? About 70 laps. So we can take it to about halfway, but not too much longer. It's probably what I'll do. Probably take it to about it 62 really or 63. I mean, on your monitor, like if you only have a 60 refresh rate, it doesn't matter what your frame rate is. You're not going to get more than 60 frames a second. There are that's two additional sets of time. That's assuming right. that uh, we go green, of course. Good I'll look into that after this. I used to worry about it. Somebody told me that like, if you only have a 60 per monitor, you don't need to have one 60 frames. Rolling, and we will have ju uh, well, sure two enough, laps to room here well, since right, we're technically right, under right. a mile. I think that's how they do the laps, right? 
mile yeah, checks my out or me. higher, they do one lap. Maybe it's mile and a half or because higher. Of that I don't know, but we got some time to figure out what gear we need. I get a little guy behind right Dale now. Earnhardt in the three there. So uh, like Made me a little nervous. He's got the Dale Earnhardt scheme, which people tend to be a little aggressive using those screen this uh, using those uh, schemes, as you might imagine. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm also going to look at my role uh, playing as the intimidator. That's also he's catch, got the, a bit of a lower safety rating. The, the, uh, the so two as well. Freaking cat did something. Got me a little bit nervous. So, gonna give them a little extra room. One left to green. Hopefully, we'll be all right. Gonna be a first gear start, I think, which is kind of interesting. Got to be very careful not to spin up the tires here. Hopefully we can get through the gears quickly, and uh, we'll have to be careful on the cold tires as well. Pretty slidey. About to go green. Stay focused. All right, the ice car is in. Green, green, green. All right, that's a good launch. I have about half a second into turn three. That's cool. Like that. Not really sure where I want to run, to be honest, uh, on the track. To keep my tires on it. Woo! Loose out of four. I mean, you'd think low side, but... I don't know. I think the truth is I just I don't really quite know where I want to be running. I'll just try to use a get a lot of turn in with my brakes if I can. Try to keep the wheel straight and see what happens. The guy behind is just done a twenty three point five. Alright, first couple of laps done. No immediate cautions or anything. Careful on this throttle. Okay, Colton, your refuel window will open on lap 58 and it will close on lap 62. I don't know if I really want to give up track position because it can be really tough to pass here at Iowa later in a run. Three looks like he wants to go now, though. He's going that high line. I don't know if I want to mess with that too much right now, this early in the race. I really don't know what tires are going to wear most either. I would assume the right front, but I could definitely see us spinning up those rear tires a lot as well and getting uh, some worn right rear as well. Three's making a run at me, taking the higher line, hitting some faster laps. Car outside. Yeah, he's gonna go around the outside, that's Stay fine. Low. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear. The next car is the leader. She's gonna let him do that. Hopefully we can get around him later. If it proves to be very, very difficult, I might uh, be more aggressive with holding my track position in the second half of the race. 
but for now I'm okay with letting them go, seeing how the uh, long run pace shapes up. Just kind of trying to consistently take that low line using the brakes to get it turned more. I could put my brakes at 57, though I am a little worried with how slidey it can be, especially earlier in runs, that I'll pitch it sideways too much trying to do that. So I think I'm just going to keep it 60% brake bias. Seems to work okay, and I don't think 3% is going to make that much of a difference anyway. He already looks like he's losing a little bit of pace, despite the fact he's still running that higher line. That lap was at 23.8. Okay, Colton. Lap time's pretty consistent. For me, the car is handling just fine. P2. Just making sure that I get it slowed down into the corners, because we're going pretty fast. These cars are fast. So you got to get slowed down. might be a point where we have to uh, move up to the high line. I don't think we're there quite yet. Still only uh, 14 laps in so far, so... Just gonna focus on being consistent for a while. Somebody that's left. And if we got some trouble in the back of the field... No cautions yet, though. Ooh, he just got the wall up there, it looks like. He's definitely pushing real hard. Or at least it looks that way, because he's getting real close to the wall and just hit it right there. Sometimes he looks pretty wobbly out of, uh, on the exits. This makes me feel like he's pushing pretty hard for how early in the race it is. Part of the reason I just wanted to let him go. I'd be in pretty good shape if it were a 20 lap race, I think, but we'll see how he fares with 120. Trying to be a little bit patient on the throttle and exit as well, so I'm not sliding the rear tires. Force catching up a bit back there. I'll have to take a peek and see what lane he's running. I think they're side by side back there, actually. Looks like it, so. I'm glad they're occupied with that rather than catching me. I think the four might have shaken him, though. Got a little loose there. Catching back up to the three, I think his tires are probably hurting him quite a bit.
to watch out for getting on his inside because we are taking different lines here. We're still hanging on back there. He's getting pretty close. I don't know how much I necessarily want to let him get around me. Car outside. Oh, I got to this inside. See, that's what I was worried about. Outside. Clear. So now I gotta find a way to pass this dude. Looking like he's about to go get the wall. Outside. Keep low. Still there. Clear high. Alright. That done. He's going to cross me over. Still inside. You are the leader. You're leading. That was a 24 Go high. All right, we did a slide job. Clear inside. Get the pass done. Go back to the bottom where you'd be a little nicer with the tires. But can't let him on my outside again either. So I'll have to watch him back there. Last lap time was at 24.3. Yeah, he's going to force me to run that high line or else he's going to get alongside me again. I really don't want to fight him. Hopefully the others have uh, a little bit of trouble getting around him. You've just done a 24 Thankfully I was able to get around him without too much trouble. Just had to commit to that uh, slide job clear and by enough that it wasn't going to be an issue. You're in the lead. Lap times are pretty consistent. Always a little worried when you when I pull a move like that that they're just not gonna humor me and just drive right through me. Some some guys I think just really get mad when someone tries to do a slide job, but a place like Iowa, that's really the only way you're gonna get around somebody. Realistically, if they're holding that top line like he, he was, so I just kinda knew from the beginning that's what I was gonna have to do. Close again. Watch out for it. It is starting to get a little looser on these exits. I'm definitely having to be more patient on the throttle. High line here, he's too close. I'm 
the two looking to get around him, possibly. Could you see a slide job from him at some point? Trying to make the pass. Okay, Colton, that's good consistency. Keep it up. That three's good at running that high line. He's fast. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside. That lap time was 24.5. Uh oh, looks like the two's cleared him. I'm a little worried the two has better tires than I do. Takes a lot of focus. Make sure I'm hitting my marks just right. Like one and two, if I go a little bit too high there, I could hit those bumps and end up right in the wall. And that would be very, very bad. I'd probably lose several spots doing that. Being very careful here. That was a twenty-four point four. You think that two's faster than me right now? That's good consistency. Keep it up. Car inside. Clear. Just gonna hold this line. See if he can get around us. The three has fallen back to fourth. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. That last light was at 24.5. Iowa doing Iowa things, making it very difficult to pass. Thankfully, I've been able to put myself in the position where I'm the one needing to be passed, but it still could be a dangerous spot to be in. They're looking to go three wide on me, it looked like. That's scary. I prefer they didn't do that. And this is a truck that's uh, a truck. <laughs> this is a track that's hard on the hands too. I'm really fighting some loose conditions and got to be so precise. Gripping the wheel probably too tight. It's a tough one. corner and messed up the angle. That lap was at twenty four point five. Inside. Clear inside. I don't just have to trust the guy's not gonna run into me.
Looking to make me three wide again. Maybe I want to run a little lower. It's looking like maybe if I use those seams a little bit more, I might have a little more speed out of it. They just wrecked each other. Oh, that sucks. They are racing really hard, so maybe not too surprising, but that sucks. Oh, I gotta catch a tank car. I thought I passed the pace car. I was gonna need to let it by. What's that? I was focused on the 14. He getting a run up for there, and I was kind of watching him, trying to get a run, and then just broke loose. And I'm muted. I don't know if they were ever talking to me at all. I was trying to give you guys some room to out. make a Line clean pass. So the I'm trying to, I didn't out. realize I'm going to check up. Now I was just watching you just because I knew you had a run and I was coming up. Pete Road is now over. I'm not really blaming you. I'm, it's more of my I think we can make it to the end now. I hate it. Sorry. Yeah, it's, I figured you guys are racing for position. I mean, I'm going to try and make the pass. I knew I was a little bit faster with the pressure tires. It's a sharp turn, and i got to make sure I don't pass the pace car. The pit lane speed limit is 40 miles per hour. It's more watching and learning than anything. We'll need but to stop again. It says we need to stop again. I don't know if that's true. Like I said, you, you really weren't doing anything wrong. Like I said, you, but you were getting a run off the corner, and I was just trying to watch where you were. Alright, 10-4. 3, 2, 1. Right here. Alright, 77, 75. I'm happy with that. I'm very happy with that, actually. We're actually on the right rear. Go, go, go! Oop, don't spin them up too much. One tire step remaining. Line up, single file. Catch the 14. Car. Okay, yeah, we're really close on fuel, so I'm going to have to save a little bit here. I don't doubt that we could save the amount if we needed to save a lap or something. I feel like we could accomplish that just by running the bottom a little bit more here. Course, consistently. 83-83. Seven minutes. That sucks. He's got seven minutes of repair. He's probably out of it. Three looks like they were able to avoid it. But I think that was the two and the four both involved. They were looking real good. Faster than I was, except they just uh, didn't have the track position. You know, with all these pace laps, it looks like we should be able to clutch it for a little bit and uh, save some fuel. Probably be good to the end. 1.2 gallons. Because we need 1.2. That's definitely savable. Guessing, by the way, the 3 is speeding up and slowing down. He's probably saving fuel as well. So if he knows the situation. Not mean to pass the pace car. Sorry about that, Cameron. I think there was a lap car involved in that somehow too. The 14 was apologizing. They were saying they were watching where they were or something. We'll see what happened exactly later. I was focused on what I was doing, making sure I was hitting my marks. I liked how uh, the initial start went, so I'll just do the same thing again. First gear, but being very careful with it. 
One lap to green. You'll be lining up right, on Colton, the inside. Gary, race will resume at the end of this lap. 0 0.7 gallons. I think we're good on fuel. Especially iRacing's calculator says we're good, so... Could be a similar situation as the first run here. The three might want to go quick early. I'm okay with just repeating the same sequence if it means I end up in the lead again. Well, we might have to make another tough Iowa pass, but hopefully it'll work out just as well as it did the first time. We can get it done. Hide car is off. Green, 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 green. Shipped a little bit too soon out of first, I got nervous. <laughs> Still a good launch though, I'm happy with how that went. Oh, it's loose. Careful now. Old tires. Gotta remember how that feels. Feels like butter. This is what it feels like. Here comes the three. As sort of expected, I think he's going to be trying to go fast. Thanks. He's running into the wall in order to take that high line. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. It's okay. I'm okay with that. What's the five planning? No, I don't remember the five too much. I don't know if he was nearby in the first run. I, I feel like I do recognize this Hot Wheels scheme, though. We'll keep at this for a while. Check on the fuel occasionally, see how that's turning out. I do think we are fine on that though. Zero point seven gallons. It says zero point seven. Weitzman is now in the lead. That's your best lap in the session. Looks like we're pulling away from the five. Hopefully not because we're hurting our tires or anything. Oh my god, that just tried to snap on me. Yikes. That didn't feel good. Guess I used a little bit too much throttle on exit, or maybe didn't counter steer enough. That was a bad feeling. I'm sure it didn't help my rear tires either. Kinda felt like it came out of nowhere. Let's not do that anymore. Okay, Colton, we're halfway home. We estimate 59 laps of fuel remaining. 0 0.6 gallons. Okay, fuel's heading in the right direction, it sounds like. So we're at 0 0.6 now. And that exit 4 okay. tried to bite me, well, now I'm scared. <laughs> So we'll see if this turns out the same way, if uh, 3 falls off again. Hopefully I can maintain my tires as well as I did the first part of the last run, or else I won't catch them again. I can't be sliding like I did or else tire difference is probably not even going to be there. And I'll need that if I want to catch back up to them. Not only do I need to catch him, I have to get around him too, and you need some decent grip if you're going to try one of those sliders.
with consistency. Keep them coming. Got point at eight or so in front of and behind us. Just barely over halfway, so we got a long way to go still. Who knows, maybe we'll get more cautions as well. That'd be kind of bad though, because we only got one set of tires left. Only given two total. So, that could lead to some uh, tough decisions, depending on when we get uh, another caution potentially. It looks like he's pushing it real hard still. Right next to the wall, I can see him wiggling on exit, putting the throttle down. Uh oh, my alarm's set going off on my phone. Telling me that it's Monday and it's uh, got new race tracks coming up. Hopefully you get hear that. I can't even I can't even reach that to turn it off. That sucks. I guess I'll jam out to uh, my alarm sound then. <laughs> Maybe if I get down to the back stretch, I can turn that off. I'm sorry, so unprofessional. What am I doing? You're catching the three again, I think. Oh, I tried. I swiped at it. I couldn't reach it. <laughs> that, probably, that probably came across visually on the back stretch. We swear it around. That lap time was 24.2. Well, shoot. I can't really take my hands off the wheel here at a place like Iowa. Even the straightaway sometimes it gets wiggly. Man, we got about a second and a half back uh, behind us. That's looking pretty good. That lap was at 24.1. <laughs> I hope you can't hear the, the music. I'm sorry. It'll turn off by itself here in a minute. Okay. Gonna have to be very careful again when we start getting close like we are. And be ready for uh, whenever we get the inside call. So then I won't be able to fade out to the wall like I want to. But we are getting closer. Where is he? Oh my god. That's so scary having a single monitor and not knowing exactly where they are. You've just done a 24.1. It's honestly hurting me because I want, I needed to put the throttle down more there, but I was afraid, and so I lost some time. I just gotta be ready to react, I guess. Oh, hey, the two's coming back. Apparently, he's uh been able to fix his damage and is still feeling pretty quick. Go ahead. The two's back in third place, though he's two seconds behind. Thank you. Really gonna be uh, testing out my noise cancellation or whatever you call it. Uh, noise isolation? Is that the right term? On my audio. <laughs> See if it's eliminating the music here as background noise. At some point we do have to try to pass him. I want to make sure that I could definitely get it done if I try though, because even trying, just do it once, one of those lines will hurt my tires really bad.
car outside. Clear, car outside. Still there, Just hold your line. Not able to clear him, that's fine. Stay low, there is a car on the hold high tight. Side. Clear outside if you we'll want to. We'll leave him alone. Car outside. And finish it off here. Clear high. All right. Now we uh, hoard the outside line for a minute. You are the leader. All right, got that done again. That was a very dangerous uh, moment. Lots of things can go wrong there. So glad to have that taken care of. Now you just gotta hold on to it. Get some distance, and then I'll move back to my bottom line. So as not to ruin my tires too much running up here. Okay, Even if it is faster. Back to the bottom. See, we get up point fourteen right there. But then by the time we get to uh, time was front stretch, it's pretty much all gone. Finally, the music stopped. Oh no! It started again. Why? I thought it turned off automatically. I gotta turn it off. You think this happens to real drivers? They've got their cell phone in the in the race car. People are trying to call them or something. And they're like, last lap time was that? just go to voicemail already. I did it. Entered very poorly into this corner now, but at least that's over. <laughs> guy behind me is like, what the heck happened to him? Oh, he's swerving down the front stretch. It's the Dale Earnhardt scheme that's got me intimidated. I'm all wiggly, losing my grip even on the straightaway. So hopefully the... Uh, Three will be able to hold back the two if the two catches him, and it looks like he is going to. Hopefully, the two will have trouble getting around him. You're in the lead. Then we can take advantage by building our gap. I think the three's really falling off, though, so we might not have uh, too much trouble getting around him, honestly. We'll see, though. Keep an eye on that relative. They're right next to each other right now. Just done a 24.4. Lap times are pretty consistent. 0.2 gallons. 0.2 gallons. We are okay to the end. The way that's uh, gradually getting better. We'll be fine. iRacing's calculator says we should be fine. Right? Yeah. Alright, the two passed him. In fact, the three might have had a moment because he's already about a half second behind him. So we got a second and a half gap to the two. Two's been better at saving his tires, but he also probably has some remnant damage from the accident that happened. Not slowing him down, though, because he is catching me. But he will have to pass me. And we saw how tough that can be earlier. I'm just going to try to do my best to keep it smooth, and hopefully my tires won't be that bad. Your lap time was 24.4. I really... I, I'm not great at saving tires here at Iowa, though. I have a tough time with it. You saw my tires earlier, the rear was worn more than the right front, but my tires, both of them, were were so bad. The uh, other guy was in the 80s with his tires. So I just killed both the right front and the right rear, I guess, but it's manageable for me, at least, if I, uh, so long as I keep them even-ish.
this point, I think we would have to take uh, our last set of tires if a caution were to come out. We've been out on these tires for much too long. Even if it is our last set, we would have to take. Uh, I wish I could just outrun him, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think he's going to catch us, and then we're going to have to play defensive. That is looking like what's going to happen, unfortunately. He's 1.2 back. He's got enough time to catch me for sure at the rate he's going. Even if he only gained a tenth a lap, he would be here before the end of this thing. What happened to you, Gavin? Gavin's the three car, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. I'm assuming he just hurt his tires. I don't think there's much more to it, but he just ran the high line the whole time, going really fast, and it just hurt his long run pace. He needs a caution late, and he'd probably have a good chance at it because he seems pretty fast on the short run. Might have that gap behind us stalling out a little bit. He's at 1.2. And he's been there for a lap or two, I think. Could our tires be evening out? I haven't really left this bottom line except to pass the three. Hey, we gained a tenth back. Love to Baker see it. Okay, Keep it smooth here, we might be golden. Five seconds back to the three. He's still in third place at the moment. That last lap was at 24.4. I know we've done a better job saving than he'd had. So, even if the guy behind catches us, top two looking pretty solid. Especially with 25 to go coming up. 25 pretty quick laps. If you have lap, lap traffic, we'll have to get around. But not going to be so bad if we have to run the high line for a lap or even just a corner. I think I might try to pass the guy high because I know it's easy to get stuck behind even slower cars with how difficult it can be to pass here so if I can get my nose on the outside I might go for it. It looks like he's got decent pace too. The gap to Baker behind is now Despite being a lap car, he's still going decently well, so. Ooh, there's that wannabe snap again. Really hoping we don't get a caution. Because right now it's looking like that gap behind us has stabilized. And I'm feeling good about getting the victory here if I can keep it together. Late restart though, who knows what can happen. Getting closer to this 16. It looks like he's intending to go high for me, so if that's the case, we'll just have to deal with it. Hope he doesn't try to stick to my outside or anything crazy. Or not. Now he's going low. Okay, I guess he's going low. Inside. That works. Still there, inside. This is what I wanted from the start anyway. Just take it high, we're good there. I could go higher line, 
and run faster laps right now, but I don't think it's necessary. If the guy behind starts closing in again, we might start running uh, some high line laps to maintain that distance. But if it's not necessary, no reason to hurt my tires or risk hitting the wall. As much as that would be fun, <laughs> running the high line is fun, maybe not so much hitting the wall. Unless you're Ross Chastain, then you can hit the wall and go fast. Best of both worlds there. That lap time was 24.5. A little bit loose. Honestly, the two might have been a better car this race. Just lacked some track position. Because he's basically maintaining the same speed as me with, I assume, some damage. That was a 24.5. So had things worked out a little differently, I could definitely see a, a universe where he comes and passes me if he didn't have damage or... Heck, maybe if they never wrecked in the first place, they eventually get around me. They were looking like they were gonna. So we've got, at the end of this lap, 15 to go. Another bad corner there. Oh, okay. Don't fall apart on me now, car. This might be the longest run we've had so far, and maybe that's why it's starting to really feel sketchy on me. Get that throttle down, alright. One point two back there. He's gained a little bit back again. Gotta make sure I hit my marks. Still don't quite feel the need to move high. And if I do, I think I'll probably only do that in three and four just to avoid any disastrous bumps in one and two. I think that middle lane kinda worked pretty well actually. Let me try that. I mean, there's cooler track here from the dynamic track, and you've actually got a pretty good line there in the middle. Right out. No? I don't know. How's the high line feeling? It's really not all that much faster. It is, but only marginally. Good consistency. Keep them coming. I think we're good. We got ten to go. We got a second and a half. Despair. Lap traffic, I don't know if we're going to catch that before the end of this one. Fortunately, not too much excitement going on right now, but I'm okay with uh, having a pouring eight laps to go here at the line. Because I think the most likely thing to happen that would make this interesting would be the yellow flag that would be hitting the wall I guess and I don't want either of those things to happen I 
Oh, yeah, he must have had a mistake back there. I gained about half a second all of a sudden. So, all right, we can just uh, cruise the bottom line the rest of the way here. Don't have to push too hard. This has gone pretty well. I think we lucked out really uh, by those two 5,000 I rating guys getting together. So I would be fighting them if not watching them race in front of me at this point, had they not. These guys are fighting up ahead. I'm hoping I don't catch them for the end of this thing, but actually it's looking like we might. Great spot for some hardware, that is true. Oops, Tabasco just got the wall up there. Four to go. That lap time was 24.7. Come on, let's keep it green. No cautions. No gross last minute green white checkered. I would hate that. That was a uh, 24.6. I could see myself I'm losing the lead on, a, <laughs> on pit road or something if we get a green white checkered. Don't let me do that to myself. Two to go. Two to go. Stay we can win this. That lap was a 24.5. You've got about five laps of fuel. We were plenty good on fuel, like I suspected. One more lap to win. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Still there, hold your line. Clear outside. I'm not going to get involved in their battle in front of me. Like a bad idea. The gap to Baker behind is now 2.5 seconds. All right. That's a hell of a race, Daniel. Woo! Got the win. Good one. Well mate. That was absolutely perfect. Great Thanks, work. guys. Good All race. Right. What happened? Uh, did you hit the wall, Gavin? I just ran out of gas with the long. Oh man, we had some fuel. Good racing, Seven. That was a fun battle. We'll do a quick little slide through the grass. Yeah, good job, man. We don't have a logo down here. It's kind of a bummer. Okay, the right my car, bring it on. <laughs> Hopefully, I almost finished I and that I was didn't count. Sneak past you in three while y'all were battling. Uh, I gotta work I on these. I I've been made fun of for my poor one. burnouts before, so I gotta work on it. Woo! <laughs> see what I mean though about the long run, Josh? Like, I can't, I'm not great well, it kind of stinks line, we don't get to see what our tires were ball. now, because we just did that, but... <laughs> we saw what they were after I, uh, the first run. I picked up like six or six or seven, or seven positions throughout the whole race. You can probably uh, extrapolate. I think I started 14th, I finished 6th. I just can't walk. There is your finishing order. Six left very early. We'll see what happened to him in the four, caution, of course, involved in that wreck. I was gaining on you. I've seen you. Which we'll also he uh, see here shortly. Yeah, I, I a Great jump a at the start. Bit. That always helps. Once I remembered how to run the top and not hit the fence, I was starting to, I was starting to take off again. All right. Oh. Don't mess with that guy. Yeah, just out of curiosity, after that first caution, my tires were... Uh, oh, Tabasco right takes a hit early on. 80, oh, that's actually all 85. the way to lap 41. That's been a very clean race off the start, it looks like. And here must be the big incident. 
Oh, that's how... That's what happened. Okay. So the 14... He must have pit early or something, and he was kind of hanging out. He's, he was saying he didn't want to get involved in the race, I think. If I remember what they were saying in chat. See you next time. But, yeah, uh... He kind of, like, threatened to be on the outside there. Out of four. And I think that made the two nervous. And he felt like he had to leave the lane. And, uh... From that, he kept the wheel turned real hard. And it got him loose because Carl loves to snap out of four. He saw it happen to me a couple of times. And unfortunately, there was a number four right there to catch him. And that gets him right on the quarter panel and no good for anybody. So that was your caution. And that really stinks. And that, too, even after getting that hit like that, getting hit, he still was able to maintain my speed all the way to the end pretty much that's what makes me think I got a little lucky in this race moving along a wall hit on lap 79 I'm surprised we haven't seen more wall hits honestly pretty well run race by everybody 12 maybe gonna get it nope tires just wearing out a little bit I guess the three hanging on with his old tires, looking like that thing is not wanting to cooperate. You can see just he's trying to put the throttle down and the rear end's just wiggling. That's from gassing it up too hard throughout the run, heating those tires up. And that's what I tried to avoid by just easing onto the gas a little bit more than just kind of stabbing it on the exit. You can do more with less with how powerful these cars are. Get to the get up and go out of the corners without having to push the throttle too hard. But I don't think we're going to see much else. This was a very clean race, which was fantastic. Sometimes it gets messy out here at uh, Iowa whenever slide jobs become like the only way to pass, but it looks like everybody kept it together, which is really cool. I want to kind of go back and look at uh, my passes. Because honestly, that's, I'm, I'm kind of proud of myself I was able to do it cleanly, because honestly, slide jobs are something I'm not great at, generally, and have needed to work on it, so I'm really happy that I was able to get that done. So we had enough room to slide up there. Three doesn't just run us over, he's cool for that. And uh, he tries to do the uh, crossover, but I think he has less tire at that point, and so he can't reciprocate it really and that was the first time and the second time let's see when that happened I think he was out in the lead longer the second run but we do eventually catch him I guess let's go back right here because this is where we kinda take the high line to get the run do the cut down to get to his inside wasn't quite close enough to pull that off, and you can see he drives in real hard because he's trying to prevent the slide job. And it works! I mean, I, I didn't get a clear call, and I couldn't see him out there, so I'm like, you know what, I'm not, I, I'm not going for it here. I'm just going to accept that, uh, accept the fact I can probably gain a little more on him, him here. And here I'm almost clear already, so I'm like, alright, this is the one I'm going to be able to get it done. And so he just got to fully commit. So that's what I did, and uh, able to clear him by quite a bit. And from there, you gotta gotta kind of try to protect that outside, or else he'll just get on the outside again. And I saw he was kind of thinking about it, thinking like, oh, maybe I can sneak to the outside here. I'm glad he didn't try it because there was not room. But uh, yeah, that will do it. I think that's everything I wanted to look at, other than the race results page. So I will bring that up now. Let's see here. Race event at Iowa. And it should show up now. There we go. All right. I got this new uh, UI thing down, I think. So, it was a 25-44 strength of field. We will gain 34 I rating to get us back above 5,700. 152 championship points. When did I get an incident? Huh. When did I... 
Did it count one of those at the end? When I was, uh... Is that correct? Let me make sure. Yeah, I got an incident. Am I losing my mind? When did I get that? Hmm. Maybe I must have counted one of the ones at the end. I should have waited a little longer, I guess, before doing my uh, celebration, but who cares? One X, that's nothing in a long race like this. We'll still be A499. And uh, you can see the rest of the field here. Unfortunately for the four, got involved in that wreck, and uh, he got the worst of it, I think. Two able to fight back for a P2. Uh, you can see we definitely were not the fastest lap. And uh, I, d I didn't really want to be, because we never really had a short run to the end. You can see my 23-4. I mean, that's beat by second and third. We do have a uh, fourth beat, but you can see P5 had a better fast lap. You've got the, uh, the three. He probably had the fastest lap, but it didn't do him too well after the end of the long runs. He needed a uh, well-timed caution. So, you don't really need the fast laps, it looks like. Just got to be consistent. And uh, it worked out for me. So, all right. That will do it for this one. Thank you for watching. I'm going to look into do so, doing some more races tonight on Monday. Hope to see you there, and I hope you have a good one. Thank you for watching.